All right, everybody, this is Ross, Ross the Fig Boss. We got an interesting set of trees here in front of me. I feel like I've been duped in a sense because got these two trees from a client. He didn't want them, gave me a couple excuses. Uh, you know, knowing me, I got too many fig trees, I didn't even want them. Uh, I don't know what the fruit looks like. I don't know we know what the variety is. Uh, very skeptical on the shape. The shape is so critical here for the fruit quality because they split. If it's a flatter fig, which I suspect most of these or these two are, uh, they just will split way too often, lower fruit quality. I have many, many varieties, probably way better than these. So I didn't even want them, but I wanted to save them. You know, he told me this crazy thing and to me, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't know. I succumbed to, I succumbed. I gave in. It's a fig tree, right? But when I got these two, I realized quickly that they are past the point of no return. And they don't belong in pots for an extended period of time. That's the title of this video. That's what this video is about. Reasons why you shouldn't grow them in the pot. I've been talking about this for years, why I think it's better to grow them in the ground than in, in pots. There's many uses for growing them in pots. I don't want to diss the whole thing. I, don't, I think there's a lot of value there. But you're growing them in a pot for an extended period of time. This tree, these two trees are probably like seven years old, at least. And they've been in these grow bags here, seven gallon size grow bags. It's gotten so bad, they are so root bound, there's no soil almost. It's a solid mass of roots. You gotta water this thing every day, twice a day. So I'm trying to get them back to a point where I don't have to care for them like that. To rejuvenate them back to some sort of health. Really what they need is a good old root pruning. But you need a heavy duty tool for that. I mean, this is a thick, solid, some of these roots are really solid. Getting through this is ridiculous. It's also real heavy. It's tough to water because I, actually I had a watering can out here. If I watered these, the water just sits right on the top. It's impossible. So I can see why he didn't want the trees. I get it. I've been duped. Now, the lesson here is if you're going to do something like this, you're going to have these trees for an extended period of time in a pot. you got to root prune them. That's really all it is. The form's great, they look great, they look like bonsais because they basically, they basically are bonsais, guys. I mean, they have been in those pots forever. And you know if you have a bonsai, you gotta take care of it. If you don't take care of it, well, eventually the tree chokes itself out and it dies. So instead of taking care of the problem himself, he passed it on to me. I'm young, I'm able, I'm willing, but it's more work than it's worth. And I'll tell you, you don't want to get to this point. So root prune your trees really every other year. Now, when do you start root pruning? Because you don't want to do this from day one. I would say it depends on the pot size, but if you have them in a seven or a five, which are really small pots, you got them in that size, you got to root prune them every other year, maybe even every year starting around year four. If you get past year four and you're not doing anything, you're gonna be suffering at some point because this is gonna be more work than you wanna put in, I, trust me. If it's in a larger pot, you can wait a little bit, little bit longer. Um, but however, if you're not on top of this at a certain point, you're not doing this, you're not taking care of these things, there's not anything you can do with them. You just can't you can't move on. You're going to have to start over. That's the, that's the bad part of this whole thing is that, yeah, they could be happy and healthy in here for a while. Maybe they, these trees, this one here, could be in this pot for even maybe another five years. I don't know. You keep giving it enough water. You keep giving it enough food. I mean, that's what a bonsai is. You give it enough water and food, it'll just keep going until it chokes itself out. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much longer these guys have. And I'll tell you, you're going to have to start over. And what do I mean by start over? You're going to have to root something or air layer something, maybe dig up a sucker. I actually cut off in preparation of this tree, I actually cut out half of it, got myself half of the root ball over here in this five gallon. And I'm actually going to use that as root stock. This tree now has got 
less of that crappy soil or even almost, almost has no soil, got some of those roots out of there, gave it new soil, a better pot, a bigger pot. It's in a 15 now. This tree should be doing relatively well. Problem is, this is such a solid mass of roots, it's so heavy. So that's the other thing. They just get heavier and heavier every single year. You don't root prune, they just get heavier. It gets more and more work every single year. So that's what I'm saying. They're, they're past the point of no return. They're almost there to the point where even someone like me, without some heavy duty saw, I mean, you need a saw that's like mechanical. You need something that's really going to come in here and just automatically do this. Because if you're doing this with your arm and you got a dull blade and it, you're getting through soil, it's difficult. You need one of them damn turkey cutters or ham cutters where the thing just does, you know, goes back and forth. Um, but, you know, for plants. Um, so that's what we're doing, I think. We're rejuvenating these. We're going to get them back. But I'll tell you you don't want to get to this point and also you don't want to probably even grow them in this in pots it's just too much work and i've stated that in many other videos behind me is at least 60 fig trees in these low tunnels there's almost no work guys i don't feed them i don't water them i prune them and that's about it i don't even mulch them i don't even i don't do anything in these pots i got to water them every day or every other day i got to feed them every year i got to prune them i got to move them i got to protect them from the cold it's expensive. The pot costs money. The soil costs money. I got to root prune them every other year. You know, it's all worth it at the end of the day, but you got to weigh the pros and cons. The benefits of growing them in a pot, do they outweigh the negatives? It's up to you. You know, in a pot, you get about two weeks earlier production, but you get a heck of a lot more work. You can keep them away from the cold, but at the end of the day, I recommend you get rid of them. Don't keep them in pots for long term. Figure out something else. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you soon. I don't want to discourage anybody, but this is the harsh reality. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys for the next one. Take care.